Hello, this is Tawanda with Mrs. T Stitch and Sew. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Uh, today, I have quite a bit to cover. I have been gone for a minute, so I am going to try to get this done as quick as possible, and I appreciate your patience uh, with me. The first thing I want to share with you is I am a previous member of American Sewing Guild and on their website um, you can place order um, for items and I will make sure I link everything below that I'll speak about today so I ordered this embroidery um, file pattern that's by uh, Lori Lee I love her animations her and uh, and um, embroidery animations they are so much fun so I can't wait to stitch it out don't quite know exactly what I'm going to use but I just really love the her animation she, and she also has fabric um, you can check out her channel and I make sure again I link everything that I speak about today in the description below um, you and another thing I did um, I am a member of the, um, uh, I think it's Association for Sewing and Design Professionals. Um, and I attended their conference they had in October. I went to two classes and the classes were, um, one was dealing with um, bridal alterations and the other was dealing with just alterations and repair. And in the Bridal's Alterations class, we did some fun stuff. Um, one second, let me get the, uh, we, get, we got to actually kind of redesign a gown uh, for a client. Okay, this was my uh, <laughs> rendition of what I would do for a formal wear alteration. Um, and then I kind of put my own little design on it, so bear with me. So I had to, this was uh, the miniature size, um, uh, it was a um, formal gown, like an evening gown or a bridesmaid gown or whatever the case may be, and my pen is still in it. <laughs> um, so you can see, so what I did was I was going to shorten the hem it because of, um, it didn't have a hem in it. So. Um, and the client that the the project they gave us the client was a certain height, so we, we I needed to hem that. So I need to do that for one alteration. The other alteration I did was um, this. Uh, it was too tight under the bottom, so um, I had to take this apart. And what I did was um, added a little fabric to it and then put boning to it so that it can give it just a little bit more room under the arm. Um, I had to take the zipper out and replace it. And of course I did it by hand stitching so that's not the best of stitching. Um, I also adjusted this in the back because that was also too tight so I needed to um, loosen this up as well. And then I added my little um, embellishment if you will some netting on the top it is not the best but it was fun doing it and um i, ca I got the concept of what she was saying it would have definitely turned out way better than this and at the end of the class i received a certificate and the certificate is for bridal's formal alterations from shoulder to him so was really proud about that so then that's one of their master programs um, too so I got credit for that so I was really proud about that and while there they gave us goodie bags this was our goodie bag with the ASDP glass and they had a lot of good stuff in here we got water bottles we got um, lace um, we got, um, this I think is a, um, a, a measuring tape you can put on the end of your keys. Um, another measuring tape by one of the, um, sponsors. And, you, of course, you get, um, more, more measuring tape. 
And what else did we get? Oh, and we got a, a copy of Thread Magazine, the latest version at that time. And they gave us, we got pins with the uh, logo on it. So that was pretty nice. And there's something I'm missing in here. Um, oh, in the class that I took for the bridal alterations, uh, she was so kind to give us samples of different uh, formal wear fabrics and where we could order those from should we ever encounter that we need additional fabrics for whether it be wedding gowns or formal wear gowns. So um, she actually sat down <laughs> and each of us got one of these in the class and I forget the number of attendees that we had that day but it was at full capacity so that was much fun I, that was a um, three-day workshop that I went to in Baltimore Maryland um, the next thing I want to share with you I also they also had fabric stash sale or, or fabric sale from different vendors so I don't recall the name of this vendor that I got this from but this is just some piece of leather just a little piece of leather that I received and this is a burgundy of course and then this is a navy blue and again I don't know what I'm gonna do with it um, I don't remember the name of the vendor if I find that information I would definitely put that in the bottom as well okay so I did that and that was all for that week that I did I don't think I have anything else okay no, that was it for that so um, I was also watching an kind of a new youtuber for me her name was Hauser's Handmade I think it is and again I will link her channel below um, she was talking about this company that she ordered some fabric from called Olga's Closet I will also put that information below so I went on and looked and looked online I kind of like what I saw so I ordered some fabric from her and the first piece I got was this knit fabric oh uh, it's 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 nice <laughs> It is kind of thin, as you can see, um, but it's it's a very soft knit, um, sweater knit type fabric. So I would definitely um, be making something with that. Uh, I'm losing my piles here. And that was called, let me see if I can, oh, it's called a Heathered Red Orange Solid Boucle Sweater Knit. And I ordered three yards of that. And I don't quite know what the yardage was. I would say it's around maybe 550, um, about, about 550 a yard. I don't have their exact number. And the next thing I got was this piece of leather. It's two yards of rust solid leather. It's very light. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I, I liked it. So I ordered um, two yards of that. And um, I'm trying to see how wide it might be. It could be 60 wide or it could be a little bit more than 60 wide. It's, it's about 60 wide, um, this, this is. So again, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but... Um, I'll, I'll figure out something I'm sure and the next thing I got was a multicolor paisley double brush poly and I love this because uh, here we go. of all the colors that's in there and I only got a yard of this so it's enough to make a blouse with and it is 60 60 wide so I love the colors in it you can't go wrong with this and I'm sure um, you can find a plenty of things to match this and it's very very soft and this is a double brush uh, poly I mean this is very soft so this was really pretty thing so and one other thing I ordered was a sage ivory argyle plaid double brush poly um, Tiffany, I think it's her name, at um, Husa, Husers, Husers Handmade, ordered this as well. And then I saw hers, I said, oh, I got to go get some of that. 
and um, it's a pretty Argyle. It's, it's different for me as far as colorways are concerned. But oh my God, I can think I can do so much with that. And this is at, this is looking like it's coming up gray on the screen, but it's actually green and like a teal. And then there's another sagey green um, that's in there. It looks like it's coming up differently on the screen. But that was really pretty. And I got um, two yards of that. And that was running about a little over six a yard and and most of the fabrics that I ordered were in the price range of five and six dollars a yard and then you get um, the, the width was kind of nice it was what, about 60 wide so this is really nice so I'm looking forward to making some type of sweater like um, blouse with that and maybe even a skirt so hopefully I have enough fabric for that <laughs> And my last thing I got, and I got that because I love the color purple, is a dark purple lilac coral large floral rayon spandex. And um, I just love, I just love the color. I just thought it was just so, so pretty. I love every stitch of color that they put into this. It is really, really gorgeous um, fabric. So this is pretty. And again, I ordered this from Olga's. Olga's closet and she is out of San Diego, California and I would definitely link her information below so check her page out it's really really good um, as far as prices are concerned. I then had stopped by Hobby Lobby. We have a new Hobby Lobby just just opened in our area um, that's very close to my home which is great so I was glad of that and so I stopped by there um, actually on Black Friday and picked up a few things now i have a couple of hobby lobbies haul so i'll show you the one that i stopped by was black friday but the other two hobby lobbies orders were at different uh, locations and at different times so but i do have the most current one which was from friday black friday in the u.s i got from them their uh fall at this particular store in, in um, Capitol Heights, Maryland, um, their fall uh, fabrics were 75% off. So uh, I really got a lot. I had been eyeing this fabric for a while and um, when she told me it was 75% off, I got five yards. Um, and let me see how much that was so that I could share my, the prices for this. But I know, oh my goodness, it's in the bag. Get it. Uh -huh. It's in the bag. I got it. <laughs> okay. So, with the plaid, isn't this pretty? Ooh. I decorated my uh, front porch in these colors this year. I thought this was really, really pretty. Um, when I saw this, I thought immediately about the jacket. And, um, but I had, it, at the time, it wasn't on sale. And I, I just said, well, let me just wait. And I'm glad I did. Because this was originally $7.99 a yard. And I got it for $1.94 a yard. This. And I cannot wait to make my jacket out of this. Um, I thought about it is it is not it does have weighted like I mean shirt weighted material. It is like you wear a shirt, but I kind of wanted to make it look more like a jacket um, weight. So I got um, some. I think this is just 100% cotton to line it with, and it looks like it's flannel, but it's it's 100% cotton. And this was um, $8.99 a yard and it had, I think it was 40% off of this. So um, that, that ended up running like $5.39, something like that a yard for this. So this is what I'm going to line the, the shack in. Um, I'm excited about that. Then they had, I have been eyeing this as well. And again, this I go back to uh, Tiffany at... Uh, Users down handmade. Lord, I hope I'm saying this right. If not, I'll make sure it's, it's right on the screen. Uh, this is corduroy, and um, I'm thinking 
uh, pants of course you can always do pants but I'm also thinking maybe I would try um, what do they call those uh, dresses with the bib I can't remember what they're called and um, but I'm going to try that with this she picked this up I'm not sure if this is the one she picked up or is, is there some coordinate ones that goes with it um, and I saw that on her channel I said okay I'm gonna go check this out so this was two dollars and 49 cents a yard and I got five yards of that and the lining I got five yards too um, to go with the jacket and then I said if I did do something um, like a jacket or a jacket or whatever the case may be because I haven't really decided on that yet then I have again some lining that is um, cotton and this was six no this was four dollars and nineteen cents a yard so I was going to line it with that so I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the corduroy but if case I do do some type of outerwear with it I have something to line it with I don't like to wear coats so if I can wear a jacket that's pretty much lined and keep me warm then that's the way I'm probably going to go <laughs> all right next stop was um, another Hobby Lobby and I want to think this is the one I went to in Columbia Maryland um, I saw this and I've seen this at other Hobby Lobbies at Will. I thought this was so beautiful. It's just so dreamy to me. I love the colors. The colors are soft. And when I saw this, I immediately thought about my Simplicity 9635, another uh, lounger set out of this. So um, I believe that's what I'm going to end up making out of this. And if I have any left over, I can see a little uh, a shirt um, too out of this as well. But this is also 100% cotton, and it's, it's it was just beautiful. It caught my eye. I love the palette, the patterns that's in it. I love the colors. So I I thought about that um, loungewear set. So I said, oh, that'll be a good enough lounge. Another set of loungewear. Then I also saw <laughs> this is just cute. <laughs> I saw this. This is Boss Lady. And I um again I'm back to Simplicity um, 9635. I thought that, that would be cute uh in this as well. To to you know lounge around the house. So but it's called Boss Lady and I that was it also at Hobby Lobby. Um but I only I did not see it in the Columbia, I mean in the Capitol Heights store and I did not, I don't recall it being in the Laurel store but I, I got this from Columbia, the Columbia store and those in Maryland knows those locations what I'm speaking of. So this was cute. So I got that. Um, how much I paid a yard? Ooh, let's see. I found a receipt. <laughs> um, I, I got looks like five yards of the paisley they it was four dollars and nineteen cents a yard no yeah and the boss lady was actually three dollars a yard so that was really nice and I got five yards of, of each okay all right so the next oh Sorry, one more Hobby Lobby stop. This one was in, where was I yesterday? This was, this was on Saturday after Black Friday. I went to Pasadena and um, to see, I saw on Legionero's um, um, pay, uh, uh, channel, her mom had gone to Hobby Lobby and she found this pretty fabric and I went to go look for it and it wasn't there. And so I ended up getting something else. So I ended up getting, oh, wait a minute. I saw this. It's 100% cotton. I got five yards of it. It was, a. Uh, I got it for $4 a yard. I'm thinking, oh, and I didn't, if I get a picture of what I'm thinking, I'm going to pop it up in the, in the um, corner. I was thinking of a, almost like a jean jacket or some type of short jacket uh, out of this with those pants. And I want to think it's a simplicity pattern, but it, when I find it, I'll definitely pop it up. But the pants have a, um, have a, um, 
uh, tie at the ankles. So I was thinking about those pants with the jacket, I think would be really cute. And so again, this is 100% cotton. I just love the colors in here. I think it's really nice um, with that. So I'm looking forward to making that, um, making that up. And I got, like I said, five yards of that. And I just said, uh, if it needs lining of any kind, then I got some, um, this is 100% cotton. I want to say this is Beth Steet, but I'm not really sure about it. This was, um, this was for four forty nine a yard. And it says I got a yard and a half, but I thought I got more than that. But who knows? Um, but this was four forty nine. So I got that to line it with. And it's again it's cotton. So uh was in there going through the remnants. Of, I mean well the, the fall section again to hopefully find another good deal. But in this particular store, they were only they were only having their fall fabrics for fifty percent off, which is fine. So I ended up getting um let me correct something. That fabric was five dollars, five yards. The the lining fabric was five dollars, and it was three dollars a yard. I was looking at my receipt wrong. It was three dollars a yard. So my apologies on that. So I got this, which is another corduroy, similar to the other corduroy that I have. It's kind of a, uh, I guess, a, a animal print, and. I don't know why I got this because I'm really not an animal print person, but I just like the color. I think it's what got me. And but this only was a, a yard and a half, yeah, a yard and three fourths. And I got this at four ninety nine a yard, um, but it's a yard and three fourths. And I was thinking, oh, it's a cute little skirt would be fine with that, or some shorts for the winter. You can wear shorts in the winter. So I'm thinking about shorts too and, and lining it so that it will be warm um, which under your tights and stuff like that. So I like this. I thought it was cute. I love the colors. I think it's the colors that got me. So the other thing I found was this pretty, again, I don't think this is wool. And I don't really recall what the boat said. I should have paid, paid attention. I didn't pay attention. But this was four dollars and 49 cents a yard on sale and it's only a yard and a half and so if i can't make anything out of this i was we have two sweet um yorkies i was thinking about a little covering for them and i'll put their pictures up there um, their names are jason juice and um, i was thinking about this would be nice for a little jacket for them and i do have several patterns that i could use for them and if I decide not to do that, then I'll probably see. There is enough fabric to use this pattern above. So that's all my hob Hobby Lobby um, haul. The uh, I think that's okay. The other thing I wanted to let you all know that I it took I have been I have been doing some things, but not a whole lot. I did finally finish my son's um, pajamas and his top. So I'll link the a little picture of that up above and um, now I'm getting ready to work on the the S9635 um, when I got this pattern it kind of threw me for a loop and you'll see the pictures why I actually did a um, sent out a couple of requests to have to help me with this because the when you read the on the pattern the finished garment numbers to me were way off and for the size that I normally would wear so I did a poll asked some questions sent it out and everybody was thinking on the line that I was thinking that I should just go with my finished me measurement so my finished measurement according to this pattern is a size six and they also reminded me that keep in mind this is a vintage pattern so the sizes is way different than we what we deal with today so I kept that in mind so I'm cutting out a size six hopefully and preferably this will work and I will let you all know when I'm done um, if it did so um, that's the extent of what I'm working on right now um, <laughs>
I knew it was something else I wanted to share with you guys. I also, um, the day after Thanksgiving, I went to visit my son and we had breakfast together. And um, he had to work Thanksgiving Day, so he wasn't able to join the family. So I went to go spend some time with him. And on my way out, I remember there was a Harbor Freight right down the street from his house. So I picked up some goodies that you would not think twice about for the sewing room. But let me just share it with you. And, and the prices were not bad. Um, and again, that was happened to be uh, Black Friday, but... The prices weren't not bad. So let me just share with you the things that I picked up. The first thing I saw that I thought would be useful is the, all the different sizes of tweezers. How many times have you gotten things stuck down in your machine and you couldn't get it out because either the tweezers you had were not long enough to reach down in there or they were too wide. The size were just too wide. So I, I ended up um, seeing these and thinking, oh, these will be very, very useful. Um, and those of you who are using scanning cuts and Cricut, um, this also would be very helpful uh, when you are trying to peel the things off from the, um, st the sticky thing. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, this I think would be also helpful. So this is definitely, I think, was a good tool um, for use. And um, I paid, uh, this is what? The tweezer set um, that caught that was about six dollars and ninety nine cents that's how much that cost okay the next thing I picked up was a magnetic um, thing uh, magnetic pickup tool is what it's called and this extends out for however long you get needed and if you can pick up pins needles um, anything uh, around your sewing room floor uh, that need that you've dropped and can't find at least you if you wand this across the floor then maybe it will pick it up and this came in at um, that cost uh, where is it four dollars and ninety nine cents this is how much this was four dollars and ninety nine cents okay the next thing I saw I thought about scanning cut and Cricut um, users is this uh, carving set which also will help pick up those lift up those things that um, those that use those scan and cut and Cricut users and this pickup set um, cost oh wait where is it where is it where is it Of course I can't find it because I'm looking for it. Okay, here it is. $6.99, how much this was, $6.99. Um, also picked up these clamp, locking clamps. They had them in all different sizes, I mean, to the big ones. And, and I didn't, I don't feel I need a big one. So I just said, well, just let me try the small ones. And not sure exactly what, you can use it for but i'm sure it can come in handy and this was um three dollars and 99 cents uh, one other thing that i picked up and thought about um when you're trying to punch holes for eyelet when you're doing eyelets or round sewing um round um button holes um, i thought about this this is a automatic center punch is what it's called and this was um three dollars and 99 cents and it looks like it may have some other things in the inside i will know once i get in there and open it up but um from what i understand is you you put the the point to what where that hole is when you made that button hole and then you just hit it with the a uh, hammer or something hard and it, it'll it'll punch it through so especially if you're dealing with leather or um vinyl or something like that that would definitely come in handy and again I say this was um, I think I said three dollars and ninety nine cents yep three dollars and ninety nine cents um, razor blades for all those that are doing alterations or these are a lifesaver yes you have your seam rippers but 
I am learning to use razor blade because it does help with the speed of things um, but I'm still kind of afraid of them even though this is a single edge um, but I'm learning to use this because it's, it's in the industry when you are doing alterations in the industry whether you're working for major department stores or for um, like cleaners or something like that these are used more so than your regular seam rippers. We home sores definitely will use our seam rippers, but I do know the industry use um, razor blades. And a pack of 100 razor blades cost $5.99. So, okay. So, also thought about maintenance on our machines. Um, these beautiful machines that we have and trying to keep them maintained. I saw this and thought, oh, this should be coming handy. Now, it is a steel brush, so of course, naturally, I'll give this to my husband to use out in the garage. And possibly the brass brush, because I don't want to scratch my machines. But the nylon brush should work great in here. And this set came in at... Um, I know, am I looking at this right? <laughs> yeah this set was only two dollars and 79 cents wow so these will go out in the garage with my husband i will keep these two yeah the other thing i bought also was these different um types of brushes uh i probably have this upside down yes i do so it has all different sizes in the in the inside and I, I haven't opened up any of this as you all can see but the they have narrow brushes and they have wide brushes I thought about um, you know cleaning out your machines and and how this would be helpful so these are uh, this is these are called two pipe brushes and they were five dollars and forty nine cents for a uh, uh, for nine you get nine brushes in this so I thought this was really really nice to have in here as far as helping with you with the cleaning and then I also was watching um, Jen's from today's um, Jen in today's sewing room um, she was talking about uh, the the um, buttonholes um, and using a buttonhole so these have different size chisels that you can use there's a really small one then you got you know the next size and then up, up to the large size so um, this came in at uh, the chisels where are they but well, they call them carving yeah this one was $7.99 for four I was looking she picked up I think the three pack because um, I don't really think I would need this size and possibly not this size so if I don't need them then they'll go out into the garage and let my husband have them but um I was thinking about this small one and this one here would definitely be used but these two I may just have to give it to him and he just put it in in the garage but again not you know not not very expensive things and I always have the driest of hands you know I don't know why so I decided I'm gonna try the working hands O'Keefe um, I think that this was now this was a little bit pricey this was seven dollars and fifty cents but I want to try it to see if that helps me with my dry hands because especially in the sewing room you know once water hits my hand my hands just are so dry so I'm gonna try this and hopefully um, it's not oily or greasy um, but if I find that it's oily and greasy then I just give it to my husband and I put it he put it out in the garage when he's out there working I have done really good about all the pattern sales I have not gone I was really happy really proud of me about that now if I can just stay at the fabric store I would be I will be on doing something then I think I would be on it then but other than that that's all I have for right now um, again thank you all for shopping stopping by shopping by thank you all for stopping by my channel and um, I really am just tickled with the number of subscribers that I have I, I am so appreciative because I never thought I was interesting enough to anybody so but I do appreciate 
all the subscribers that have um, stopped by and all the encouragement I have had a chance to chat with so many people that I would never have known in my day-to-day -day life so that I've been really uh, thankful for and uh, just to be able to talk to people who are just ha having the same mindset as you is just wonderful um, so again I, I do thank you all for stopping by thank you all for watching my channel and I will see you on the next go round remember to take some time to stitch it out daily. Have a good one. Bye bye. I lost my ticker. I don't know where I did with it. I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> bye. <laughs>